What's up guys, um, this is just a brief follow up video from my Alienware Graphics Amplifier unboxing video with my GTX 980. Um, if you watch that one you'll know that the MSI card I purchased didn't fit inside the uh, amplifier, it wouldn't close. Um, bit of an issue, I had to send it back and I had to buy another one and it arrived today. It's EVGA GTX 980. It's pretty much the same as the MSI one, just a different brand, and it's a lot lower, lower profile. Okay, as you can see, got the EVJ card in, power cables are connected. Looks quite a bit smaller than the MSI card from other videos. You can see it's nowhere near as high. I mean, the other one was literally above, above the power supply when it was all connected. Um, hopefully, this time it'll uh, close properly. It fits. Okay guys, as you can see, this is without the amplifier connected. The onboard is the Intel HD graphics with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970M for mobile. So you can see that is built into the laptop itself. We're going to fire it up with the amplifier connected and just give you guys a quick demonstration of what happens when it is connected and how it boots itself up. Okay, moment of truth. All right, it's a thing of beauty that is. Blue logo kicks in, let you know it's turning on when you'll be able to hear it anyway. It's quite loud when it does turn on. Let's uh, give you guys a quick demonstration. Once it loads up, it takes a few seconds just to boot. Okay, you'll notice the screen flickers a few times. That's just because it's swapping onto the amplifier itself. So it flickers two or three times, I guess, and then it settles itself down so that's when you know that it's physically connected to the GTX 980 and not the onboard mobile, there we go it just flicks across I think that should be it just check the device manager, before we had the 970M and I think check it now you should be able to see it says GTX 980, which is the EVGA card in the amplifier. So that's a quick demonstration of what happens when you turn it on. Uh, it just does the quick flicker. I mean, when you turn it back on after you've disconnected the amplifier, it will do the same again, like it's doing now. Just double click, and there we go, we're ready to play. The Ace, the MSI was 140 mil or 14 centimeters and it was way too big so I was a bit stumped as to what I could get to replace the MSI one that was going to fit inside. Um, didn't really cover it on Anywhere's website so I went and messaged Anywhere's YouTube channel because they had managed to get one set up with a uh, GTX 980 so I messaged them and said what have you used and they were using an EVGA so that's why I bought my EVGA. Had a bit of a look and I messaged them and said like what sort of height can you fit in there and they said 136 millimeters is the max that it will take or 13.64 centimeters whichever whichever metric you prefer to use I had a quick look at some of the cards that you can buy I mean the Asus is 13.44 centimeters so that's kind of on the level in terms of where that's going to fit or not it might be a bit of a tight squeeze the MSI as we know is too big um, the EVGA fits it was 111 millimeters high so that's quite a lot smaller than the MSI card the Gigabyte card, some of the, some of the models of the Gigabyte are 108mm, so they're pretty much the same sort as the EVGA, that fit fine, that should fit fine as well. The Zotac, um, some, some are saying it's 133mm high, some are saying it's a bit smaller, I think it just depends on the, on the model that you're going to get. That's probably going to fit as well, might be a bit small, bit of a tight fit when you've got your power adapter plugged in as well. Um, but yeah, I went for the EVGA GTX 980 and that was low enough, it fits perfectly fine. 
Um, yeah, very happy with it. Got to do some uh, screen captures and some FPS of gameplay on various games so you guys can get an idea of what it's going to score. I did play around a bit, um, had some issues with the drivers as well to begin with. Uh, I was trying to install the driver disc that came with the actual graphics card, it's no good. Um, having a bit of fun on Alienware, Alienware Arena Forum. Plenty of people have got the same sort of issues. It works and then it doesn't work. There's issues with the driver. Nvidia have now fixed that issue. I was quite lucky when I got mine. It was kind of released about a week or two before uh, all this aggro sorted, uh, sort of kicked off. AMD cards were faring a little bit better, but they still had issues. But AMD have also got a fix as well. You can get on that on AMD's website. Um, if you go to Alienware Arena, Dot com forum section hardware and support and then look at the amplifier sticky there's about 700 replies in there on the subject of trying to get this to work I mean some people were getting it to work and then when they swapped it back to the desktop the desktop the desktop driver was missing but all I had to do was literally go to Nvidia's website mine's got the GTX 970M in it so I literally just downloaded the most recent uh, driver for that and it works perfectly fine I've managed to boot up with the amplifier connected getting getting some really good um, FPS is on some in 4K play on certain games. Powered it down, disconnected the amplifier, and booted it back up without it. And the 970 is perfectly, perfectly fine, still there. So that was the that was the fix of that. So when you do get your own, just make sure you get the correct driver for it because that can be a bit of a nightmare. I spent a few hours just pissing around a bit trying to get it to work. It's a bit frustrating, but uh, yeah, save yourself some hassle. Just literally just download the latest driver. Don't use the disc that's in there. Go straight to Nvidia or AMD's website and get that driver sorted for yourself. Um, so yeah, I've got to do some um, some screen capturing of some gameplay. I'll do it in 1080, then I'll do it in 4K and give you guys an idea what what sort of scores are getting. I'll also do some gameplay videos as well you know, with uh, Dying Light, Far Cry, uh, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, uh, some CS:GO as well. Um, if you've got any requests, I mean, I can get some get some new games as well and see if there's uh, anything you want me to test out with the GTX 980 and see what sort of scores you're getting with it in 4K and I only replay with these settings on Ultra in HD and on 4K, so but we'll have a bit of a play around with that and see where we go. I've um, had a bit of an issue trying to find some software that's going to screen capture about caning the FPS. I've noticed that when you're playing for CS:GO, for example, in um, in 4K, I'm getting like 30, 40, maybe even 50 FPS. But as soon as you start running fraps, I get down like to nine. So I need to find a piece of software that's not going to slaughter the FPS when I'm trying to show you guys what we're getting. So I'll have a little, a little bit of a search around and see what we can get with that, and uh, I'll get back to you pretty soon. Pretty soon. Cheers, guys. Please uh, drop a comment in the comment section below if you've got any questions. I'll try and get back to all of you. Um, please like, subscribe, share the video. If there's anyone you know that's going to be uh, of any use to it. So uh, yeah, crack on. I'll see you guys around. Cheers.